All right, ladies and gents, we are back with Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, War of the Lines edition, so just to be clear. Uh, we are going to get into this in just a second. I'm just making sure everything is set up properly and the stream is running without problem. It looks like we might be good to go. Okay, so, uh, where we were in the game, uh, what we're doing here is setting up, uh, I had some characters in mind for the errands that we're going to take care of. Uh, we're going to do a couple errands today. There are four available. I don't know how many we're going to get done. Um, I want to set up these errands, and then I want to uh, just hopefully get into some, get into a couple of random battles, at least because we have some characters to, uh, some monsters to poach. So what we're going to do is, I think we're going to keep Diademea, and we're going to keep Baco, and then there's a piggy down here. We're going to keep one of them. I can't remember which one, though. Uh, I want to say... Ooh. I want to say Tyke, but... Let me take a real quick look at that. I want to see if I can find... There it is. Uh, the list that I have for enemies. Okay. Swine is the one who I think has the best chance at breeding the level 3. Uh, but also... I think the best chance at breeding a level 2... But don't quote me on that one. I'm not sure. Uh, the level three is the one that we want to breed because we can poach a ribbon off of that. That's a wild boar. And the pig has nothing too special. The Maiden's Kiss and the Kachusha. Kachusha. Uh, which I believe is a uh, an armor. Or not, not an armor, sorry, a headpiece, I think. I'm not positive on that one. Yeah, it's a hair adornment. Okay, so... That basically just makes you un, uh, immune to undead, blind, silence, toad, poison, slow, immobilize, disable, and doom. It's not bad. But, I mean, we're looking for ribbons, which is going to do all of that stuff and more anyway. Pretty sure Ribbon does everything that that does. Poison slow, yep. Immobilize, disable doom, yep. So the Ribbon does everything that that does and more. So, sure, it'd be kind of cool to poach, just for completionist's sake, to poach a couple of those. Um, the Kachusha. But, uh, what we're really looking for is the Ribbon. So, I think we're going to try and poach... The pig, because uh, Tyke here, because Tantalos, being a swine, I think gives us the best chance at breeding a, a level 3, or a rank 3. Uh, so we're going to go with that. And then, of course, we have a couple of other monsters to poach here. A couple green dragons we've got, uh, which aren't going to give us anything super fun. Um... And then a couple of black chocobos. Although the one, I think we might keep uh, Diademea just because I, Baco at this point, um, Baco almost feels like part of the party. Now, I haven't really used him a lot. As you can see, he's level 11. Um, I don't really plan on using him. I just kind of want to keep him in the party for now. I don't know how long we're going to be able to do that. Um, but the reason being is Baco is actually a character in... He's a named Chocobo in one of the other older Final Fantasies. So, oh, for the life of me, my brain is doing a, a, a brain fart here. I can't remember which one off the top of my head. Um, God, so bad. This is one of my favorite video game series of all time. And yet I cannot remember where he's from. But he is. He's from one of the older Final Fantasies. So I want to keep him in the party. And uh, 
Diademea would be the one that we would get to uh, breed the level two and or the rank two and rank three chocobos. So with that being said, um, and then we'll keep one dragon just for now, just to kind of poach a few more dragons. Once we start getting some more of the optional characters, then uh, we'll probably cut down because I don't really need to poach a lot of dragons. I don't need to poach. You know, these aren't things that I, I'm i really saving for us to do, is to poach the dragons and poach the chocobos and stuff like that. Really, the one that I want to poach the most is going to be the swine. So, or actually not the swine, the rank three version, which is wild hog? Wild boar. That's it. Wild boar. To get the ribbons. Um, and as far as I understand it, they're only available through breeding, so uh, that's the only place you can get them. All right, so now that we're here and I've got our characters set up, let me just save it real quick because I did not save it after... Um, s hmm, yeah, we'll save it here. I did not save it after setting up our, um, our characters for the errands, uh, but we're going to send a few different people. So we're going to send Aleth, Thora, and then I think Lad was it? No. Who was it? There's one more chemist. Ah, Peta. That's it. So we're going to send uh, Aleth, Thora, and Peta on the first one in Egros Castle. And then we're going to send the archers, Lad, Alicia, and Lavian as archers on the second one that we're going to go over to uh, Zaland for. So let's get this set up. Tavern. Errands. Guard duty. These are indeed troubled times. Monsters have appeared on the route from Egros to Dorder and threaten our Chocobo wings. Please protect them and the cargo they carry. The Larkham Mercantile. So we're going to accept that. 2,000 gil for the expenses. We're going to send Aleth, Thora, and Peta, because Chemist was the recommended or the best job for this mission. Uh, we'll give them the maximum number of days, 13. As far as I understand it, it helps the success rate of the mission. And there we go. All right, no new rumors, I don't think. Pretty sure we've seen uh, Marquis Elmdor slain. But I'll leave it up for a second if anybody on the YouTube video wants to pause and read it, um, in case we didn't go over this before. All right. But I'm pretty sure we've read through everything else. And I think that's the last one, or the most recent one. Okay. Where does it go from the top? I don't, I honestly don't remember. All right, Egros Castle is done. So we're going to take our journey uh, all the way down here to Zaland. We're going to go one city at a time in case we get a random battle. Uh, at any point, we're going to save it so that we, in case we get a random battle and something happens and we have to reload for whatever reason, uh, we'll be able to reload from the next city instead of going, reloading all the way back to Egros. So, uh, do we have, before I do this, do we have a poacher? I'm pretty sure I set up Mustadio as a poacher. He is, however, uh, he maxed out his machinist class. So we're gonna change him from a machinist. Let's make him, oh, maybe a knight? Just to level that up a bit more and max that out. Well, you know what? He did master the machinist class, but he needs more experience. Well, not experience, but he needs more job points to level up his machinist to the max level of eight. So we could keep him as a machinist. He is really good as a machinist. So 
Hmm. We would have to give him... I, I would want to keep a pistol on him. So, unfortunately, I think that would mean we'd have to take off his poach if we changed him to anything that didn't have a pistol available. Oh, we don't even have the equip. Where is that? We don't have equip pistol. What's that from? Is that orator? Gorik has it available. Orator. Yep, equip guns. Okay. So we have to make him an orator at some point so that he can get equipped guns. Just so we can keep the gun on him for some long range shenanigans. And what do you need for orator? There we go. Uh, order would be over here. Mystic level three, okay. And for Mystic, you need White Mage level three. So he is only level one White Mage. We could make him a White Mage to try to get order on him. It's not a bad idea. Eventually, I think we're gonna taper off using Mustadio once we get Balthier. Because I think Balthier fills the basically the same role as Mustadio, has all of the same abilities plus a couple extra. But Mustadio is still going to be a, a a good member of our party. Uh, we're not going to get rid of him. We're not going to let him go. Uh, but I might start using him a little less. We'll see. Should we make him a white mage? That's going to make poaching a little harder on him. But with that in mind, does Agrius have the ability to poach? Yes, she does. All right, we could make Agrius the poacher. She's not going to be able to do it from a distance with what she's currently uh, assigned as a monk. Uh, but we can spend some monk points on her, maybe. Oh no, she doesn't have enough for first strike yet, that's right. So we'll get her some monk points, get her up to first strike, and then maybe change her to something else. I think we're good with Agrius poaching, so let's switch. Let's switch Mustadio to a white mage. And then we're gonna change his equipment because I don't know if I want him to have this. Well, actually, it's not a bad idea. Because now that he doesn't need Poche, we could put on Safeguard or we could put on JP Boost just to get him JP faster. Let's put on JP Boost. I'm going to change his equipment so he's not using the best stuff. Anything that you know, I'm afraid to lose. I think the gold hairpin. Yeah, we only got a couple of those. Let's put the Celebrant Miter on. We'll change out from the Gaia gear since we only have one of those. And now that we can buy white robes, we might as well put on a white robe, I think. It's going to bring him down quite a bit in HP, though. Right, it's HP or MP. Okay, and then... Oh, he's got five move, three jump. We can put the Germanus boots on, or... The Elven Cloak, we only have one of. We can put the Mage's Cloak on. But that leaves him with three move, or five move and three jump, I believe. Yeah, let's put the Mage's Cloak on. It'll give him a little bit of extra magic. Alright, abilities. I think the Serpent Staff is fine. I think he's okay with that. Abilities. 
what can you learn? You've got cure. And that's it, huh? Yeesh. All right, well, I guess we'll give him protect. He's not gonna be a very good healer. I think we'll give him protect and then we'll give him the monk abilities. Uh, let's give you Aura Blast so you can do something from a distance. And we'll just assign your secondary as Monk, Martial Arts. Alright, we'll go with this. So, Agrius is going to be a Poacher, Mustadio is going to be a eh, really weak healer at the moment. But we just need to get him some job points. Ninja... For Gorik, he's going to be some pretty decent damage. And we don't need Timothy because we don't need to do treasure hunting on most of these random battle maps. But he does have, he does need experience and we should increase his faith a little bit. And he's got speech craft and items so he can res. Maybe we'll take Timothy. We could take Kapow, but he's already decent level. Still need to get him up a bit more, but... Mert and Tenwan are also in the same boat. Let's just make sure that we have a Rezzer, Healer... ...etc. So... What, four people and a monster? I don't necessarily need to take Gorik, but he is high damage. We could take Tenwan instead. He's got some pretty decent damage. And just get them some levels, because Gorik is the highest level at the moment, 49. All right. Let's head over to, oh, hold on. Let me save it again real quick, because we did make a couple of changes. Head over to Garland. Okay, no battle. We've got 11 days. Uh, thir 13. 13 days, by the way. So, that was two. Four. Let's save it again. We've got, what, 69,000 gil? Is there anything I want to buy here? Ooh, actually. Did we poach anything before that series of battles that we just came out of? The story battles we just came out of? We think we did. We've got a cashmere and jade amulet. Or jade armlet. Eh, what the heck? Wait, there's two available? Yeesh. 15,000. I don't want to go below 50. Just as a rule of thumb in case I forget. I don't think Agrius' birthday is coming up anytime, you know, very soon. But two jade armlets and two cashmeres. We don't really have any dancers. And jade armlet... Oh, there's six available. Ooh, okay. We have two. There's six available. No, cancel. Thank you. That's not what I wanted. Uh, there's three cashmeres available and six jade armlets. All right. Well, we're definitely not going to buy all those. I kind of wanted to just buy everything from the vendor just to empty out the vendor, but that's all right. Let's head over to Zaland for the next, uh, the next errand. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be seven. All right, here's our first random battle. Let's do a little bit of poaching. Let's take Timothy, because the order is actually a pretty decent job uh, for me. I really like using the order. So we could take Timothy, Tenwan, and Mert. Mustadio. 
Oh no, we need a poacher, so we have to take a Grias instead of somebody else here. Well, I'd like the damage from... I'd like the damage from Tenwan. Tenwan has no... Uh, no way to res. Mustadio does, but it's limited. Timothy does. Mert does. Okay. So we can either take Mert or Timothy. I think Timothy is lower level, so let's take Timothy. Let's replace Mert with Agrius. Put her there, and then what monster are we going to poach today? I don't remember what any of these give you. Give me a second to take a real quick look. I have the bestiary here, right in front of me. The green dragon has jade armlet or hydroscale bag. The bag would be nice, but it's a rare poach. The black chocobo has eye drops or X potions. Eh, I mean, X potion would be good, but we might as well just get rid of them. Might as well dismiss the black chocobo. Uh, the red chocobo is the one that we would be really be after. Um, Remedy is a common item, and uh, beret is, or beret, is a rare item. Beret, my U.S. English chief. Okay, let's do let's do the green dragon. They're more valuable. We could also do the piggy, and we'll just get rid of pretty much. We'll get rid of all the well. We'll get rid of the one black chocobo that we have. Uh, the other black chocobo will wait until it gives us a red one. We could get rid of Tyke and keep Tantalos. All right, we'll do the green dragon for now. That's our five. The green dragon is probably going to hit decently hard. So we've got some damage there as well. Zerkiel falls. Definitely not my favorite map, but it can be interesting. Uh, we're going to keep everybody up here for the most part. Let's change the zoom here. All right, ten one. Let's keep you in front, I suppose. Although, oh, I wish I had set this up differently. I should have put Agrius in front of the green dragon. That was a little bit of a mistake, but that's okay. When does she go? Fifth? Yeah, he's going next, so he'd probably take that spot if I move Tenwan. Tenth and sixth, yeah. Okay. All the monsters are going. Nobody to steal from. That's fine. Let's toss... I don't know, Spark Bomb. And we'll just wait here, I suppose. Yeah, he definitely would have taken that spot had I moved 10 1. 72 damage. Auto Potion fixes almost all of it. We've got a Panther. Ninety-one damage on Mustadio. Ouch! Uh, but auto potion fixes the majority of it as well.
All right, a little bit of damage on Agrius. That's okay. Now we can do a Chakra. That would heal the damage there. Which... She took 90 damage. That's significant enough for me to worry about it. Uh, it's not like it matters if we heal this guy anyway. This uh, curl. I actually don't know how you pronounce that. I'll have to look that up at some point. But I always called them curls. Or corals. I don't really want to attack because we're going to get countered and then it's going to make it that much more likely that she dies. We can't kill it one off, but maybe we could kill it with somebody else. It's just that counter. She's going to end up in danger real quick. All right, let's just keep her alive. Mustadio. What are we doing with you, Mustadio? Protect? I mean, we could. We could at least hit 10 1 and Agrius. Yeah, let's give that a try. Alright, our dragon. I might actually try to do some damage with you, but right now you're not in a position to do it. So, here's the kicker. Do we move you out? Which, you can't sit in depth one water, which is interesting. Uh, do we move you out to here, and then try to reposition next turn? Or, do we just leave you where you are? I feel like we leave you where you are. Because there's really not much you can do. Uh, you're not going to be able to reposition well enough to do much. And if somebody else kills you, we don't get the poach. So, there's that. Alright. We'll wait it out. Timothy. Timothy can move here, and then... Just so I can move the dragon over, as needed... And let's intimidate. Yeah, that'll work. 71% chance. Well, it doesn't work, but <laughs> that's the idea. Uh, maybe we can intimidate him enough, turn him into a chicken, eventually. We got the two protect off that I wanted, so that's good. If we just straight up attack this Chocobo, can we kill him? Yeah, we should be able to. Uh, I don't care about poaching a yellow chocobo, so... There we go. And now Tenwan is safe for a bit. Now I can move Agrius back. That would... That would bring in the other panther. But Agrius would only still take one attack. Mastadio can only take one attack, because only one of them can reach. Uh, Tenwan could only take one attack, and it would either be Agrius or Tenwan. And it would put me in a good position to poach the dragon at any point. So, let's do that. What if... What if we steal heart on this guy? 70%? 57. All right. Ah, oh, come on. Two 70 plus percent chances in a row. And they miss. Of course they do. Let's try another protect on Mustadio.
Of course he gets hit for a ton. Holy crap, 133 damage. Auto potion heals 70 of it, but yeah, he's going to get hit again right now. Yep. And he's down to kneeling. 108 damage. At least he didn't die. But holy crap. Uh, we can move the dragon out and do some damage to the panther. It's not the worst idea in the world. If he dies, he dies. Can always res him. 91 damage. That's not much. He does not get countered. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's face him that way. Good. Protect at least worked. But he's only got 36 HP left. Well, Tenwan, you have no way to heal anybody. Okay. Oops. That's not what I want to do. Steel Heart. What's your percent chance? 55. Can you throw a bomb at the other guy? You can. You could also throw one at a floating eye. Hmm. Yeah, obviously you can't throw it through the dragon. Alright, well we need to get Mustadio healed up, so... I think we're going to leave Tenwan here. Just throw out some damage as we can. You. All right, we could high potion or even X potion, Mustadio, and I think we might, because depth one water, you should still be able to act. There we go. It's not going to heal him to full, but it'll get him up enough that we're not going to worry about him dying on the next hit. I don't know what we could do from here, though. I could move Mustadio into the corner. He's probably one of the most squishy ones on the board right now. So if we move him into the corner, he can get healed by Agrius as needed. He could heal himself as needed. In fact, I think that's what we'll do right now. Not too bad. 30 HP gives him a little bit of MP back as well. Let's do another throw from Tenwan. Let's try something else. How about the snow melt on the eye? Oh, come on. I selected the eye. There we go. 88. Still 88. Gained a level. Nice. And a job level. Very good. Alright, Agrius. Can you kill anybody? No. There's no way. She's not going to do 154 plus damage. No way. Uh, so with that in mind... Let's stay where she is and just do an aura blast on this guy. That way we can save ourselves. Ooh, 120. Actually, that's not bad. I know it's not going to be the same damage, but what does she do to the dragon? It's not going to be the same damage as she would to the uh, curl, but 128. It's probably going to be close. All right, well, she's not going to kill it. I don't think she's going to kill it straight off anyway, so let's hit it with uh, 120. And missed. 
Oh, it's another 70 plus percent chance miss. Perfect. Hello, XCOM. My old friend. Uh, let's wait here, I suppose. The eye is creeping up. Panther comes up and attacks the dragon. 91 damage. No retaliation. The other panther attacks the dragon. And does get countered. Good. So the dragon's on low HP, which means Agrius can probably poach him right now. Unless... Okay. I was going to say, unless the... Uh, I don't remember what the... Um, Mind Flayer? Or what are you? A Squid Racken. I don't remember what abilities the Squid Racken has. Tentacles, Ink, and then Discord. Alright. So Tentacles is just a straight up phys uh, melee attack. Ink... Alright, range of two, four directions, so the cardinal directions, uh, blind, fine. Discord, uh, just removes, float, wait, what? Oh, we cast it, okay, so it casts with him at the center, has a radius of three, vertical one, and removes all of these beneficial effects from anybody in that radius. Okay. That's fine. Not really buffing people too much. You know, protect, yes, but we're not really doing a whole lot of other buffs. All right, dragon. Dragon, we could attack. However, he will probably get countered. Oh, no, he can't. He can't even attack. Fine. Alright, you just wait right there, I suppose. Ten one. Let's do another throw. Oh, actually, we could steal heart. We could steal heart instead. We could kill the eye, we could put some damage on the squid racken. Put some damage on the curl. Let's put some damage on the curl. The squid racken might be the most dangerous thing on this board. No, actually I don't think he's gonna hit that hard with the tentacle. And the blind I'm not worried about. And the room with buffs I'm not worried about, so that's fine. Agrius. Let's just poach the dragon now. That opens up a spot in front of Agrius. Which is fine, we can deal with it. Uh, we can do another protect, but everybody has protect. Anybody need HP? Not really. I mean, we could do another chakra. Could try Aura Blast. All right, any little bit of damage is better than none. Rather than gaining two HP on Tenwan and Mustadio, uh, 40 damage on this guy is probably the better bet. That might put him into poach range for Agrius. Now, I don't remember if poach works with Aura Blast. If you could poach using Aura Blast, I do not remember. Hmm. Timothy, Timothy, Timothy. Do we put you up there? It would put you in danger from one spot, but it would limit where the enemies could approach. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move Timothy up. And we'll intimidate this guy, or... 
Ooh, actually, I'm pretty sure Agrias still needs uh, bravery. Yes. Let's praise Agrias. 67% chance. Good, you owe me that one. <laughs> Timothy gained a level. Here comes the curl. Yeah, I figured you'd attack Timothy. He's going to be the weakest one. But 70 damage and he heals it all up with auto potion. Works for me. 10 1. If we attack. Yeah, he's going to kill him. How about steel? Nobody else is in range for steel heart, right? Nope. Just out of range. Steel gill, but we're going to get counterattacked. Alright. It'll give Mustadio something to do. Oh! Missed, but didn't get counterattacked either, so okay. Uh, the Chocobo is going to turn into a crystal. Some monster is going to go grab that crystal because I can almost guarantee you we're not. So somebody's going to heal up. Agrius, can you poach him? Oh, yes. Perfect. Nice. And Mustadio. Mustadio. I think everybody lost their protect. Well, everybody except Mustadio. So, when does this go off? Oh, before any of the enemies move. Perfect. There. Try to get it on everybody that is in danger of getting hit. Missed Agrius, but okay. Got the other two, so we're good. Here comes the floating eye. Oh, 50 damage on Agrius, not that bad. Her auto potion didn't trigger, so that's a little disappointing, but that's okay. Oh, we'd straight up kill him. He's only got 52 HP left. How about we throw... I don't know, Flame Burst Bomb on... The Squid Rackin? Yeah, why not? Flame Burst Bomb on the Squid Rackin. And it missed. What was it, a 70 some chance? I don't know. Fine. Oh, I left him facing the wrong way. Alright. Whatever. There's the crystal. Nope, I don't want to move with you. Uh, let's try Speechcraft again. We're going to praise Agrius because she can end up doing more damage that way. We'll poach faster. Uh, we'll get a point of permanent bravery out of it, which is nice. And there we go. We got the eye poached. Mustadio, why don't you try a Protect again? Although you'll probably end up hitting whatever enemy that is, that Dianera? Who's Dianera? Yeah, Squid Rackin. I figured it was you. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to tempt that Squid Rackin. Either the Squid Rackin can go for the Protect, or the Squid Rackin can go for the Crystal. Let's see which one the AI chooses. So we'll put the Protect right here, just to refresh on Timothy, Tenwan, and then try to get it on Agrias. And we'll see which spot... Oh, you couldn't even reach. Alright. 36 damage, Auto Potion fixes it. If we straight up attack you, will we kill you? No. Well, let's do that. 36 as a retaliation. That's fine. He should still be safe. Let's 
All right, we got it on Agrius this time. Refreshed it on Timothy, but uh, did not refresh on Tenwan. That's fine. 60 damage attack from the curl on Agrius. But auto potion heals it right back up. He's not in range of poaching, is he? Oh, he is. Beautiful. Oh, this is pretty much going like clockwork. Well, let's just do a chakra. Heal up 10 one and yeah, we'll be fine. Get you some JP and EXP, Mustadio. Works for me. Now, you are not in poach range, but if I straight up attack, we'll kill him. And I don't know what he poaches to. Uh, let's find out real quick. Take a look at my bestiary here. What do you poach to? Squid Rackin. Either the shoulder cape or the sleep blade. I don't want either one. We don't need either one, so here. Let's end it. Very nice. I could have dragged that on a little bit, did some, you know, steel gill, uh, just played around with that guy a little bit and get everybody job points, experience points. That would have been a real, real easy, real nice way to do it, because we were in a really good position for pretty much everybody to do something every turn. But we will leave the farming for another time. Since we're already farming uh, errands at the moment, let's head over to Zaland and we'll get the next errand set up. Now, I don't think, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to do three errands. Um, we could. I mean, we have enough characters to do that. But I don't think I want to set up anything more than this. We're going to set up two at a time, then we're going to go back to Egros, uh, pick up that errand, then come back to Zaland, pick up this errand, and then move on. Uh, there's either two here or two at uh, Lionel Castle. And I can't remember which, so we'll find out. Tavern. All right, so there's two at Lionel Castle. Or should be, anyway if I'm not mistaken. So we can set this up. Siege wield. I went into the wield because I wished to live deliberately, but once there, I caught a glimpse of some ancient ruins amongst the trees. Could they have been footprints of an ancient civilization? I pray that someone will go out and see. Zaland Tavern Master. 1,100 gil to uh, set up. Finder's fee, supplies, and other expenses. And who are we sending? I had these people set up already. There it is. Alad, Alicia, and Lavian. Now, they're all real low level, so I kind of want to start taking them on some random battles. Maybe one at a time, uh, just to level them up a bit. However, for now, they are very well set up for this mission. Uh, Archer was the best job for this one, so we'll send them on this one. I already gave them... Mediocre equipment, nothing that I was going to miss uh, if I wanted to, you know, go into any more random battles. So I'll set him for 13 days, max time, and that should be good. Okay. No new rumors. Nope. Oh. Does the outfitter have anything good? I and mean, we do have 90,000 gil at the moment. Not really. I mean, the Black Cowl, again, that's something that uh, I think I talked about last stream. This Black Cowl, I don't think we're going to really do much with. Um, I don't know if I'm even going to buy any. It's 72 HP, which is nice. It's more than, you know, more than anything else right now that we have available for the characters that can use it. Uh, but it's, you know, the headband, the Green Beret... Green Bray speed is, it makes up for uh, its lack of HP. It's only 48 HP, but 
the plus one speed is really, really valuable. Uh, the headband gives plus two physical attack and 56 HP. And it's significantly below what the black cowl is at 72, but still that plus two physical attack, definitely well worth it. Uh, I might pick up another garb, uh, power garb. I'm going to start getting rid of, I don't know, brigandines? No. I mean, we have eight. I just have them as backup at this point. I'm actually using uh, Brigandine, I think, on somebody that went on an errand. So, yeah. Yeah, let's grab a power garb. And then let's refill bombs. I like to keep a nice even number. That's just me. Whoops. Two. Uh, shuriken. Eh, why not? They're cheap. We'll keep a nice even number. Uh, the Fuma Shuriken. I might want to pick up a couple more of those, but... Ten... I don't think we're going to use ten in any given battle. The bombs are... Sometimes more useful. X-Potion. Let's round that off to sixty. High ether will round off to 10. Again, it's just me. I just like to keep a nice even number of certain things. No, we have 61 ether. All right, don't pay attention to that. 21 maiden's kisses, don't pay attention. Um, yeah, we don't need any potions. High potions, I'm gonna let it run out because I think from this point on, I think we're going to use X potions and uh, I don't think I'm going to keep high potions in stock because auto potion uses the lowest ranked potion that you have in your inventory. So if we run out of high potions, we'll start using X potions for our auto potion. It is going to be expensive because they're 700 gil a piece, but it's going to be much, much better now that enemies are hitting, you know, quite hard, well over 70 at times. Uh, we'll be able to heal up most of that damage. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Uh, so it is... Oh, what did we send them for? 13, I think. So it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to get down here, 7 to get back. That will be done. And then essentially that... Uh, Zal so the one at Egros is done by the time we get back there. The one at Zaland is going to be done by the time we get back here. And then we can pick up the two at Lionel. So it kind of works out perfectly. We'll save it, and we'll still use the same poaching team. Because that worked out pretty well, I think. I don't know how it's going to work out on any other map, but it definitely worked out well there. Let's go to Dorder. Oh, at the falls again. Oh, okay. Fine. Again, not my favorite map, but hey, we'll make it work. Timothy. Tenwan. You'll stay up front here. Actually, kind of worked the way we had it, but... Hmm. Oh, you know what? You know what we'll do? We'll do this. We'll put Tenwan here. We'll put a Gryas here. And then, what did I say? We were going to get rid of the black chocobos? Well, any extra black chocobos. Yeah, because they I mean, they do poach in, they can poach into an X potion, but that's the rare poach. The common poach is an eye drop, which is almost useless at this point for me. We already have one black chocobo. We've got Baco that we're going to keep. Mavers we'll probably keep to breed. We could do, we could poach Polydana, Polydamna, um, and we could keep Tantalos and poach Tyke. All right, poach Tyke or Polydamna. 
Let's do another green dragon. And then, last but not least, Mustadio, you go there. We're on the opposite end now. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, this can still work, but we're in a much more dangerous position, and these guys, the Mind Flayers, that Mind Blast, I think that's the one that I'm worried about. Yeah, Confuse and Berserk. Ouch. Uh, this battle is going to be rough. Okay. Hmm. I am not sure how to handle this because we've got four, four enemies that can berserk and confuse. Um, yikes. And they've got the high ground. All right. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. So we can move up to here, and this is a nice flat area for four people. But it does put one person in, at a significant disadvantage, getting attacked from three sides, potentially. Um, and then two other people getting attacked there, and then if any of them decide to come down the waterfall, and then behind, uh, or, you know, over here and behind. That would put us in even more trouble. Okay. If we were up top, this would be a little easier, but still, that Confuse and Berserk, ooh. All right, well, uh, potential reload incoming, because if we end up dying or we end up losing people, yeesh. 10 Uh I think we're going to have to worry more about killing them than we are about poaching them, so... So I think I'm going to put Tenwan up front. We could put a Gryas up front, but Tenwan's going to do the most damage. Yeah, let's put Tenwan up front. And... We can reach somebody. 176, nice! Okay. With a 90% chance to hit. All right, well, what's the... All right, so that was a spark bomb. Snow melt does much less. And flame burst... Yeah, okay. 88 damage from those. So let's do the spark bomb on this guy. Agrius, you're going to go here. Yeah, you're not going to be able to hit anybody from here. Nope. Not even close. Alright, we'll just wait and get another turn faster with you. Mustadio. Oh, Mustadio. Ah, uh, you're super squishy. I might actually use the dragon for a decoy for damage and just... If he dies, he dies. Um, if we don't get the poach, we don't get the poach. No big deal. It's 
So do I put you there or do I put you in the middle? 230 HP versus 229. Uh, we're going to put you here, I think. And then we'll do a protect. The chakra, if I put him in the middle, the chakra would have been nice. I mean, it's not a lot of HP, but still, it could hit everybody. Can you hit from... Yes, you can. Oh, no. Mind blast. Good, it missed. We're gonna get another mind blast? No. This one might, though. Yep. Oh, confused. Okay. Ten wands confused. Okay. If we move up here and attack Tenwan, is that going to remove the confusion? He should heal up with Auto Potion. Good. All right. Confusion gone. Auto Potion triggered. So no HP loss. And then Timothy. Oh, you can't reach. Oh, I wanted to put Timothy right there for the protect. But he can't reach. Okay. Fine. You move there, Timothy. Tenwan could use some bravery, and so can Agrius. So can Mistadio. Let's give some bravery to... Agrius. Nice. 67% chance, and it worked. Good. Okay, missed the protect on Tenwan. That's not good. But, we can throw another spark bomb. Yeah, we can probably take this guy out. I bet you we can take him out with something like just a regular shuriken. Uh, do we kill him or do we leave that for someone else? You're going second, but you're not going to be able to hit him from here. I don't know if they're going to move closer. Um, some of them might move closer because they can't hit with the Mind Blast. But I think they're going to just move into Mind Blast range and that's it. So they're not going to come to us for physical attacks, I think, mostly. Uh, could be wrong. But I think they're going to stay at range and keep hitting with Mind Blast for now. So in order to combat that, I think we're going to move up with Agrius and do melee attacks if we can, but Aura Blast uh, as a last resort. So if that's the case, I think Agrius can probably hit him with an Aura Blast. She should be able to kill him. Let's try throwing a Spark Bomb at somebody new. Yeah, you can't hit because you're in the way. We can get this guy, though. Let's bring him down on HP. And then... Alright, we should be able to get... her close enough... to just straight up attack. And then, from there... <clears throat> Ooh, I don't know if you can attack from here, though. Three? I think you can. I don't remember. Melee attack. I don't remember if it's two or three. Alright, I think we have to move her here just to be safe. Yeah, it's at least two. We should be able to kill him straight up. Get a poach out of it. What do they poach into? So those guys, the Mind Flayers, are the rank three ones. They're the last rank. Uh, they poach into either a High Aether commonly or a Vampire Cape. Interesting. Yikes. Yeah, they're the rank three ones. They're the most dangerous. That Confuse and Berserk is just nuts. 
Mustadio. What do we want to do with Mustadio? I could try to just get Protect on Tenwan. And then we can move Timothy and get Protect on him as well. Although, if, really, if what they're doing is they're just doing the, the Confuse and Berserk, Protect isn't going to help as much. He's really got nothing else to do. So, yeah. He goes seventh. When does the Protect go off? Six. All right, Protect is going to go off before Timothy moves. Okay. Does it go off before Tenwan moves? No. So we've got a couple of the enemies. Oh, three. Ouch. Three enemies, then the dragon, then Tenwan, then protect. Well, crapola. What is the range on Mind Flay? Or Mind Blast? Range 3, radius 2, vertical 1, though. That'll help. That means we can break it up. If we move everybody out of AoE range, so that you're only hitting one at a time, that'll help. We can get... Mustadio up here. I don't know, maybe I can Aura Blast one of them? I can, it's not going to do much damage, but every little bit helps. 40 damage. Alright, Mind Blast. Confuse, confuse, no! The Dragon and 10-1. Oh, it missed on a grass. Good. And what are you going to do? No. Oh, okay. Missed. And the dragon's going to attack Timothy. No. 96 damage and no counter because, yeah, Timothy's not set up for it. Crap. What are you doing? What are you... Oh, oh, not cool. Oh, not cool at all. Okay, so... Tenwan just tried to throw a snow melt bomb... ...at one of the mind flayers. And it heals them. So... Yeah, he just healed somebody. Yeah, somebody who was within poaching range. He just healed them and took them out of poaching range. That sucks. Uh, Timothy's got significant damage. And we cannot move him into range to get rid of... Wait, is Tenmon still confused? No, because he took a counterattack. But he took a massive counterattack. It was, what, 147 damage, something like that? Crap. Well, we can do one of a couple of things. Either we can run around behind the dragon and attack him to get him out of confusion. We run the risk of getting counterattacked. He's already... He's already in danger. He's already hurting. We could... maybe get behind Tenwan and throw an X-Potion? No. We can't reach. No, Timothy can't reach. Okay. Could heal Timothy and leave the dragon confused. When does Tenwan go fourth? Agrius is second. Mustadio's third. Okay, so Tenwan is going to get a chance to heal up before uh, 
uh, before the enemies. The dragon goes eighth. All right. Then we should use somebody to unconfuse the dragon. I don't think that Agrius can. Well, Agrius can get there. But she's not going to be able to, like, poach him. Oof. Alright, do we heal Timothy? Or do we try to, I don't know, put somebody to sleep or entice them? I mean, we could entice one of these guys. Possibly. Yeah, that's, none of that's gonna... Oh, I can't even get the percent chance for success until I get up there. Darn it. we go right here. Try to do something to this guy. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. And then just somehow find a way to heal up Tenlon. Put you to sleep. Uh, unlikely. Can we stall you? Unlikely. Can we entice you? Probably even more unlikely. Yep. We could intimidate and just try to keep intimidating until he's down to chicken range. That's going to take turns that I don't really want to take. We could berserk him. 44%. If we berserked him, at least he wouldn't use uh, his berserk confuse ability, his mind play. Or mind blast. Darn it. I don't know what to do. Uh, okay. Let's just heal up Timothy. It's a guaranteed, and it'll probably prevent him from getting one shot. Agrius. I don't know, I feel like we need Agrius to poach one of these guys. Can you? No. Uh, what about this one? Nope. No, nobody's within range to poach. Okay. We bring the dragon out of Confuse. He goes after all the enemies. So either they confuse him again, or... or kill him. Potentially. Oh man, this is not good. Ore Blast isn't going to do more damage than the attack. We try Steel Heart. 57 or 44. Or 44. Okay. So we could try Steel Heart. I 
And then what do we do? What do we do with Mustadio? I think Mustadio is either going to have to break the dragon out of Confuse or heal Tenwan. Will Maybe she'll crit or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try it. Nope. 128. Fine. How many HP are you going to give him back? 40? <laughs> it's almost laughable at this point. Oh. Oh, Tenwan. Uh... I mean, theoretically, we might be able to Aura Blast and kill this guy. And then that would take one more off the board. We wouldn't be able to poach him, but... Ugh. Okay. Uh, one less Mind Flay, or Mind Blast. I guess. Tenwan. No, oh, Tenwan, you gotta move away from the dragon. The dragon's just gonna come up and kill you. Uh, we could move up next to this guy. Or near, anyway. What if we move here? That way, if Tenwan dies, we have multiple options as far as how to res. So we'll move here, and then we'll throw a bomb. Or here, and then throw a bomb. Because then the bomb can catch either this guy or this guy. Potentially. Uh, snow melt, no. Spark. 144. Stop it. One forty-four. All right. Either way, it'll probably put them in poach range. Let's try this guy. Where are you going? You're gonna just take him out? Yep. Tentacles and Ten Wan is down. Mind blast on Mustadio and it missed. Good. Dragon is gonna come hit Timothy. Ouch for 96. Alright, we need to take this guy out. Alright, one poached. Mustadio. Can you res Tenwan? Please. Fifty-nine percent chance he got it. Nice. Timothy, how about... So, Timothy could just go behind the dragon and try to poke him out of Confuse. 
but that's a little dangerous because you could get counterattacked for a significant amount. I don't know, I think it's going to be one of our best bets though because the dragon is actually going pretty soon. Let's try to poke you out of Confuse. Oh, you know what? I should have moved him away in Aura Blast because I think that would work. That was... Oh! Crap. Um, can you attack through him? So either we attack through him or we Aura Blast him. Wait. Do you even have Aura Blast? Wait. No. Alright. Only option. Or I could just heal up Timothy. But let's try this. Let's attack through him and see if we can hit him out of confusion. Good. No counterattack either. Perfect. Tenwan. Ooh, Tenwan. What are you going to do? Uh, I don't want to get countered by that guy. So let's move up. And then we'll throw a bomb. Does that bring you into poach range? Hopefully. Yeah, he's just gonna take 10 one right back down. 171, ouch. All right, our dragon's gonna move up. And then wait. We're gonna wait facing away. Agrius. Now we could move in and poach. And then that would end the battle, but our green dragon remains unpoached. Uh, with the danger that everybody is in right now. I mean, it's still going, it's going well enough that I think we're okay. Right? We can possibly end the battle right now. 96 damage, yeah. So we can end the battle right now. It leaves our green dragon unpoached. It leaves one enemy on the ground unpoached. But it saves all our characters. Now, I think we could drag this out. We could raise Tenwan again. Um, you know, work our way around, get some more bravery increases. Things like that. But I think... At, at the moment, the battle is really under control. Yeah, I think we're going to just end it right now. I'm okay with that. 19,000 gil as a reward. And I'm curious as to what we poached off of them. Well, that was Zirkiel Falls. Ugh. Again, I'll, I'll say it again, not my favorite uh, battleground. Because depending on where you get put on it, uh, you can end up at a, a significant enough disadvantage. Um, and depends on what enemies you're facing too, so... You know what, we're going to risk it. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. Head over to Dorder without saving. And we get another battle. Of course we do. Okay. Timothy. Timothy. Ten one. Right up front. Uh, where are we going to put you here, maybe? I honestly don't know how this battle is set up. So, Mustadio here, and Agrius. Nope, stop it. Come on, Timothy, stay where you are. Agrius, you go there. Now, who are we going to try to poach? We're going to try to poach Polydamna again? Yeah, with that, why not? I'll probably have to delete some of the people, um, get rid of the one Black Chocobo, and I don't know who else. We'll see what other monsters are there. Oh, marbles. Not cool. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay. Is that five? Five Malbros. 
not cool. Tentacles and Lick. So tentacles just damage, just straight up damage, but they do have 12 attack power. They're fairly beefy. Lick. Uh, Lick, what do you do? Magic Reflecting Wall, okay. All right, not as bad as I thought. I couldn't remember their abilities. So that's not that bad. They could put Reflect on people, and the only thing that it would affect is I wouldn't be able to cast Protect or Cure, which are minor inconveniences at best. We are in a corner that I'm not super happy about. But ultimately it's okay. I think I can make it work. Uh, you, Bone Snatch. Bone Snatch. Oh, it just has water anima. Okay. It's a ranged attack, which is going to get annoying. But again, I think we can handle it. Tenwan. I'll probably keep Tenwan right where he is. Uh, what are we looking at poach-wise? Bone snatches poach into either a high potion or a partisan. Which, I'm not worried about the partisan. And the Malbros are platinum daggers or ice shields. Common, rare. Uh, in that order. So, yeah, I'm not worried about that either. Alright, straight up kills. Let's throw a... Oh, what... What does what? 88 damage for the flame. Snow does 88. And Spark... Does 88. Alright. I can deal with that. Can you reach the Bone Snatch? No. Can reach the other Malboro. Yes. 72 damage, though. What about the Fuma Shuriken? 63 on that guy, 77 on this one. Let's take the... I think one of the biggest problems is their high HP. And they've got 371, 396, 386, 400, and 394. Yeah, that's going to be the biggest problem. Is just whittling down their HP. Uh... All of the bombs were the same, if I remember correctly, at 88. So let's just do a snow melt on this guy. For the most part, we'll wait for them to come into us. Let's put up protect. Yeah, that'll work. Agrius, can you aura blast him from here and then move? No. Of course you can't. Uh, what about Steel Heart? No. Fine. Well, we could just move over and then try to steal Heart or Aura Blast. But then we're going to get hit by at least two Malbros and probably the Bone Snatch. The Dragon goes next. Okay. I don't really care about poaching the Green Dragon too much because... Uh, the green dragon is the jade armlet or hydroscale bag. The hydroscale bag would be nice green armlet or jade armlet um, from the green dragon. The jade armlet would be not necessary. We'd end up possibly end up selling it anyway. All right, let's just go here. 
We'll do an aura blast. Just try to bring some of these guys down a bit. Now what if, since I don't really care too much about poaching the dragon, what if we use him as bait just to delay a couple of the guys? We'll do some damage to the bone snatch. Put him out. Oh no wait, can we? Yeah we can, good. 78 damage. Uh, he is now a decoy. Who's gonna get trashed. Oh yeah. But at least he's putting out a little bit of damage as he goes. Oh yeah, he's done. Didn't even last one round. Ouch. Forty-five damage, not bad. I can live with that. Uh, Forty-five damage to Agrius, and she heals it up with auto potion. Good to go. Here come the other Malboros. Seventy-five damage, but auto potion heals most of it. All right, I can take that. What if? We praise Agrius. I was going to intimidate the Malboros, but I think most of them are going to die unless they're going to die too fast. Unless we pick one and just leave it alone with everyone else and just keep intimidating it until it turns into a chicken, which is what I would normally do uh, because that would give us all the time in the world at the end of the battle to just sit around in the battle, collect JP, collect experience, and uh, and just keep turning one of them into a chicken so that it's pretty much no threat whatsoever. Um, but I think we're going to continue and try to end this battle faster than that. Good. Four bravery to Agrius. It worked. And then uh, perhaps we move here just to keep everybody together I guess that way the protect can hit three people maybe yeah two out of three ain't bad okay throw another snow melt on somebody we could definitely put him in poach range I'm not going to we'll put that guy in poach. Let's just hit one at a time, put him in poach range. Try to get rid of them one at a time. She's going next. If I hit her with a protect, then move her into position, poach the one guy... Protect goes off on turn two after her turn. So, yeah, as long as I move her away from the enemies, they won't get protected. And I can still get it on her. Let's do that. So, we will have her attack. Yeah, she can just straight up poach this guy. Have her attack, then move somewhere where the Protect isn't going to hit anyone else. Any of the enemies. Not bad. So if we move her up here... Well, actually, let's move her here. Yeah. We'll move her up here... She can get Protect on herself and refresh it on Timothy. Good. Very nice. 10-1. Alright, throw some more stuff. How about a Flame Burst this time? It's the same damage, isn't it?
It'd be cool if the spark bomb did a little bit more damage because it's raining. Uh, you know what? Let's let's just use a snow melt. Oh, I should have turned him the other way. He shouldn't be facing that way. He should be facing um, to his left. Because nobody's going to hit him from that, from the direction he's facing. He's going to move up, and who are you going to attack? Tenwan? Yep. That's okay. 45 damage, not bad. Healed with auto potion. Let's do another speech craft. Praise. Agrius. Nice. Got another four bravery out of it. Perfect. Timothy gained a level. Mustadio. Uh, Mustadio. Eh, I mean, we don't have protect on Timothy, or on uh, Tenwan. But. Well, Aura Blast is only going to th do 30 damage. I'm not that concerned with Aura Blast. Let's try to get the protect on uh, Tenwan. Okay, we're probably going to get countered here, but we can do some decent damage. Oh, missed. Missed the counterattack. Nice. All right, so yeah, we did some fair damage to him. No, that's not what it... Stop it. And he's hidden behind a tree. Uh, we're going to wait and then... Wait facing the Mar Marlboro. We finally got Protect on him. Good. Unfortunately, I do not think that this guy is within poach range. Nope. Okay, then. We could do a couple of different things. Either I could try to attack him, take the counterattack, hope that nobody else gets in range to, like, do concentrated damage to Agrius and Killer. Or we could wait, do damage with some, wait with Agrius, do damage with someone else first to bring it down into poach range, and then on Agrius's next turn, which will come back faster because she waited and didn't do anything, uh, then we can poach him. What am I saying? I'm not worried about the poaches with the Mar Malbros. I think I already said that. Uh, yeah, the Malboros don't give much. They give Platinum Dagger or Ice Shield. I'm not worried about them at all. I do not care. Straight up attack. No counter, good. So I don't care who kills him. In fact, how many HP does he have? 63, okay, so yeah, <laughs> Mustadio can't kill him. That's fine. Let's try another Protect on, on U3. Just a refresh. Uh, when do you go? You're sixth. Agrius is fifth. So Agrius can poach him anyway. Let's try to get some damage on somebody else that's coming in. Yeah, it's not gonna hit you. It's not gonna hit you. Uh, we could hit this guy. Or that one. If we hit this one, it probably put him in poach range, but he's gonna stay at a distance anyway. So we're going to end up having to take care of the Malboros first. Let's put damage, because they're the ones that are going to come into melee range. So unless we send Agrius out, or even Tenwan out, to go 
hit somebody um, to go chase somebody down. Uh, right now, I'd like to get rid of at least two, if not three, Malboros before I start sending our characters out of their, you know, cubby here. On this guy? Yeah. Let's throw one on this guy. Let's bring his HP down a bit. They're essentially limited to coming in, you know, one or two at a time, but he, yep, he's going to do his water anima. That's fine. 56 damage, and it's healed up with an auto potion. That works. Timothy, just keep using your speech craft, bud. Let's get Agrius up a little bit more. What, before we do that, though, what is your bravery at? 86. Okay. So we can take Agrius up eh, three, four more casts. Ah, missed. All right, you were bound to fail at some point. It's only, what, a 67% suggest chance? We only got one refract, uh, protect refresh on that. So let's poach this guy. And then wait, facing that way. If we throw a bomb at this one. Well, actually. This one? If we throw a bomb at this one, it's still not going to put him in poach range, is it? So, let's throw a bomb at this guy. Let's get another protect. up into melee. Tentacles missed. Missed 10 one. Nice. All right. Refreshed on all three. Perfect. Got that protect up. Let's do aura blast since I don't really need to risk the counter attack right now. He's his HP is too high. I'll hit him with ten wand so we can do a double attack there. And that should bring him down a bit. I still don't think it's going to be enough, though. Even if we do that and then Mastadio Aura Blast, I don't think it's going to be enough to put him in poach range. But maybe he'll be in kill range for ten wand, a double attack the turn after. So we'll probably get at least one counter attack out of him. And then at least one regular attack from him as well. Let's Aura Blast this guy so we don't get a counter. Agrius gained a level. Nice. They're just kind of scooching in because they can't really do anything else. Let's try praising Agrius again. Nice, four bravery. Perfect. All right, 10-1. 99 damage. And then 88. Perfect. And no counter. All right. It's about as good as I could have asked for. Oh, no. The bone snatch is going after Mustadio now. That's okay, though. 70 damage healed up with Auto Potion. All right, then. What if we Aura Blast? It brings you down to 150. Or we could Aura Blast this guy, bringing you down to 160, or 170. 
I don't think it matters. We're not going to kill either one of them with one hit. But we might be able to kill this guy with Tenwan. Hundred and fifty nine damage, we should be able to kill him with ten one then. We won't get the poach, but that's okay. Ten one gained a job level. Nice. Alright. Aura blast this guy again. And that might bring him down into poach range. Maybe. Should be able to be killed regardless. One way or another. Our dragon turned into a crystal. Oh well. Knew it was going to happen because we weren't going after the dragon. We weren't going to res the dragon just to poach it. The items it drops isn't that uh, aren't important enough, aren't good enough to go over and res him. Ah, we missed our praise. Oh well. Do another Aura Blast from Stadio. Yeah, and the only guy we can hit. But that'll definitely bring him into poaching range. Or kill range, regardless. Uh, wait. He's gonna run away? Yep. Now we're gonna start chasing. Oh, remind me what the Bone Snatch drops. Is the Bone Snatch worth poaching at all? High Potion or Partisan? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Do not care. I think we might be able to kill him. Nice job, Tenlon. And Agrius. Just move out and poach this dude. Because what the heck. And that just leaves one on the board. Going after Mastadio. Nice. I figured. 144 damage. Ouch. Ow. Uh, I mean, we could try to cure, but it's not going to do that much more damage, or that much more healing than 53. And what does Chakra do? 40. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just that Chakra's instant, but it's not going to matter anyway. What if, just for, just for giggles, let's try to take his bravery down a bit. Maybe he'll do a little bit less damage. And then uh, we'll move, but we're not going to get far enough away. Oh, Tenwa. So we're not going to be able to kill him right away anyway, right? 234, so no. Let's throw a bomb. Eh, Snowmelt bomb, why not? And bring him down a bit. And then we can either kill him with Tenwa or a combination of Tenwa and Agrius. Cure from Mastadio gives him 53 back. Uh, let's see. Agrius could move up and Aura Blast. Yeah, anyway, we can just move up here, Aura Blast, and then he'll probably come down and attack Timothy. Either that or run away. Maybe we can make Agrius a, a tempting target by facing her back to somewhere he can reach. Oh, it's not going to matter anyway. 
we should be able to kill him outright. Who goes next? Mustadio. Uh, Mustadio is level 47. Okay. He has 50 HP left. Let's try to get Timothy the kill. If you throw just a regular shuriken, is it going to do less damage? Yeah, you'll bring him into kill range regardless unless you crit somehow. Alright, so he should be in kill range for Timothy no matter what. Cure is going to go before, uh, after he goes. All right. So we can't really cure. We can chakra. Yeah, let's chakra. Let's move. Right here and then chakra. That'll work. And just face that way so you have no back facing. I figured he'd go after Mustadio if I did that. That's alright. So we wasted one auto potion to give Timothy the kill. That's okay. Uh, you are just going to straight up attack. But we would need to get you two squares away? Yeah. Well, three. So, down here. That should work. There you go. Good job, Timothy. 27,600 gil. As our reward. Our dragon is gone because he turned into a crystal. So, that's fine. Let's go to Dorder and fill up on our bombs. Uh, what am I doing? Bombs are here. Okay, spark bombs. We need four. Snow melt. Seven. And then shuriken one. Good to go. Uh, actually, Check potions real quick. So we didn't use any X potions. We are down to 12 high potions. All right, we'll just let those run out. Uh, poachers then, that's what I wanted to check. What did we get? Platinum dagger, I figured as much. And we could buy it here and then turn around and sell it. I, I think it sells for the exact same amount that you buy it for here. So it's, it doesn't do anything for you, like there's no real benefit, but for me, the benefit is emptying out this guy's inventory. Uh, Germanus boots, I don't think we need any more, but meh, we did get a vampire cape, so that's cool. 28 physical, 28 magic, no other bonus, but yeah, it's still something. It's not bad. Um, yeah, we're at 124,000 gil, so I'm going to buy the Vampire Cape. I'm going to buy the German Spoots. Uh, Shuriken. Eh, what the heck, just to clear out his inventory. Let's buy the High Ether. There's two. And the Gold Needle. There's seven Jade Armlets now. Three Platinum Daggers and three Cashmere. Let's just buy all the Platinum Daggers. And I'll just turn around and sell them at the regular vendor. I'll buy... Well, we have two Cashmere already, don't we? And we have two Jade Armlets. What are the Jade Armlets? Stone and Stop. 
Um, okay, I'm pretty sure they sell for 5,000 at the regular vendor. Let's find that out real quick. At the outfitter, sell. Nope, not power gauntlets, thank you. Jade armlet, Jade armlet does sell for 5,000. So I'm gonna buy the Jade armlets and then we'll sell most of them, I think. Just to clear out the inventory. Probably do that with the cashmere as well. There's what, two cashmere left now? Alright, we're gonna empty his inventory. We're still above 50, uh, 50k. And I'm okay with that. Let's save it. See if we can make it back to Egros. Oh, another battle. Okay. All right. Um, Oh, I don't want to go through this many random battles. And we're right about the time that I was going to stop today anyway. So, and I can't, on, on Thursdays, I can't really go much past 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, we might have time for this next battle, but I don't want to chance it. I don't want to chance it taking too long. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to end up quitting right here. What I'm going to do is return to title screen. We already saved it. And then next time... Next time we'll load in and we'll try not to get a random battle, but if we do, at least we have plenty of time for it. Uh, next stream is going to be on... Uh, plan is for Sunday at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Uh, so we're still going to go with the same schedule that's up on the Twitch page for uh, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern... Uh, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And that's going to be the weekly schedule. For now. Um, I may ramp that schedule up. I'm going to be working towards ramping that schedule up, streaming for perhaps a little bit longer each day, um, then maybe working other days in. Um, it all depends on what I can get set up and when. And um, I want to get back into XCOM as well. I need to finish that game of XCOM that we were working on. And I want to finish this. So these are going to be the two main games on the stream. Is uh, Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions. And then XCOM Long War. The two main games on the stream until I finish both of those. I may throw in a day here and there um, of other things. Just to kind of vary it up. Just to have a little bit of fun with something else. Um, and get into something else. Just, you know, for, uh, just for the heck of it. Uh, but for now, those are going to be the two games. Anybody who watched on uh, Twitch, if you were here and said hi, well, nobody said hi in chat, uh, but if you stopped in to say hi, to, to just see the stream, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. You don't have to say hi if you don't want to. If you just want to lurk, uh, more than happy with that. Uh, but thank you for being here. And anybody that watches on YouTube, the video is going to be up in a couple of days. Uh, I generally put it up just about 48 hours after the stream ends. Uh, so that'll be up in a couple of days on, oh, what is, today's Thursday, so that'll be up Saturday. Uh, their videos are all, always up just about two days after the stream. So thank you very much for watching, and if you haven't subscribed on YouTube, please do. Uh, we're Gork Gaming on YouTube. Go ahead and check it out. Subscribe there. All the videos that we've done for any stream that we've done is, is up there. There's something like a couple hundred videos up there now. And then, uh, if you have not followed on Twitch, please do, so you can get notified when uh, we go live. Thank you very much. Uh, all the social media and everything is in the Twitch page, uh, so go ahead and sign up for Discord if you want notifications on when videos come out, or if you just want to chat, uh, more than happy to chat in Discord. Uh, other than that, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.